Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to be fixing Garuda Linux. And when I mean fixing Garuda Linux, most of the complaints I hear about Garuda are I love their performance, but I loathe and hate the way it looks. I don't like the latte panel. Uh, I don't like the global menu up top. So I'm going to show you step by step how to get rid of latte, how to get a regular panel, how to get better looking less annoying icons because i hear that too they say they don't like the icons you open up the icons and they just don't like them that's the most i hear complaint wise with garuda so what we're going to do is i'm going to show you step by step how to change it and you can do it in less than 10 minutes and make garuda look really great now one of the main problems i hear all the time from people is when i get rid of the latte dock and I put a regular panel down, my close, minimize, and maximize buttons disappear. And I'm gonna show you this real quick because it does happen. So what I'm gonna do here real quick is I'm gonna go ahead and quit Latte. I'm just gonna quit it and it's gonna disappear. Now most people when they get here don't know what to do. So all you gotta do is right click and just go up here and add a default panel. So let's try that again. Right click on the screen, add panel, add default panel and it will give you a default panel down at the bottom of the screen. But what you will notice is when you open an application and you maximize that application, your buttons disappear. People get upset about that. And some people can't find out where to fix it. I'm gonna show you how to fix it real quick. So let's go ahead and close. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and start Latte back up. So Latte, let's open up Latte Doc, click on it, It'll take just a second and it will start up. And there it is. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is come down here, right click, enter edit mode, and then come on this side. Let's go ahead and remove the pager, get that out of the way. And then come over here in an open area. Right click and remove panel. Remove panel. Now the panel is gone. Now, next step will be to come up here on the top bar, right click, Configure Latte. And when this comes up, if you look right here, it says Support, Borderless, Maximize Windows and Different Layouts. Let's go ahead and uncheck that. And we want to come down to the bottom and Apply. Now that is taken care of, so let's go ahead and close that. Now we can come up here and we can right click, or come up here, right click, Quit Latte, make it disappear. Let's go ahead and add our default panel back. And there it is. And I like to get rid of pager, quite honestly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and enter edit mode. And I want to go ahead and remove pager. Now once you enter edit mode, all you got to do is hover over pager. Come up here and click remove and it goes away. Let's X that. And then come up here and X that. Now we've went through those steps. Now when you old open up a file or an application, when you make it bigger, you've got your buttons back. So that's the quick way to get your buttons back when you're getting rid of Latte Dock. Now the next thing I want to do is close out of this. People don't like the icons. People say that they're too bright or they're, they just look off. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here real quick to settings and I'm going to go ahead and let's do this step by step. First thing you want to do is go to appearance. And if you want to pick a different theme over here, you can. I generally choose the lay-in theme, and I usually go down here to download it, but I've already got it up here. Or you can come down here and get new global theme, and you can come up here and do the search for lay-in. Go ahead and type that in, and what it'll do is it'll bring it up. This is the one I'm using right here, the lay-in look and feel theme. And I'm going to go ahead and switch to that. If you don't have it, go ahead and install it. And then once it's installed, you can come over here and select it. And then you want to apply it. Let's go ahead and apply it. Now, as you can see, things already got a little bit of softness to them. And the icons have changed. Now, if your icons don't change, you can always come down to icons. And if they don't download the Tila icons for you, you can download them yourself. But it automatically changes those icons over. But I want to show you something a little different. I want to get some new icons. And I'm going to come up here and I'm going to put in UOS. And let's go ahead and let that pop up real quick. And I think I'm just going to go with the regular UOS, not the dark. And they're right there. I'm going to go ahead and click install and let those download. It shouldn't take too long. 
like I said, this is pretty quick. You can do this generally in less than 10 minutes, and you get a lot of that feel that you don't like with Garuda off of everything. Now, I do know there are people out there that say, well, you can download a bare minimum version of Garuda. Well, I just like taking the base Garuda Dragonized and adjusting it for myself because it's that easy. So those are done installing. I'm going to close out of this. I'm going to go ahead and click on UOS and apply. And we've got the UOS icon. So what we're going to do down here is I'm going to unpin that. We can go over here. And now, as you can tell, our dolphin has better looking icons over here. And if you want to make them a little bigger, you can. I generally make them huge. So there they are right there. So let's go ahead and close out of that. And as you notice, your buttons have changed as well. One thing you do want to do when you switch your theme is go ahead and double check your application style. Phantom Dark on my application style. I don't want that because it emphasizes that purple. I'm not really big on the purple. So I'm going to go ahead and pick Breeze and go ahead and click Apply. And then I'm going to come down to Plasma Style. Make sure that I'm on Lay-In Colors. I'm just going to go ahead and have it do it from the current color scheme and Apply. Window Decorations, I'm not too concerned at this point. You can change your title bar buttons if you want. You can move them from right to left. It's real simple. If you wanted to move them, you just click on that button and drag it over and you're good to go. So I just wanted to show you that real quick, but I'm not going to worry about that. And we're going to go ahead and close. So there you go. You've got your bottom panel. You got rid of the Latte Dock. Now, what you do want to do once you get rid of Latte Dock is let's go ahead and pull up software. And we will go ahead and add and remove software. That's another thing I need to get rid of right now before we go to software. I want to go to workspace behavior and screen edges. Right now, it's got my screen edge to where when I do this, it opens that up. I don't really need that, so I'm going to uncheck that and put no action and apply. And then when I close out of that and come back over, it doesn't minimize my window. So let's go ahead and zip on up here and go to software. And we will find add and remove software. Let's go search for Latte Doc or just Latte. And there it is right there. And let's go ahead and get rid of that. Let's go ahead and apply that and apply. And then, you, of course, you'll have to put in your password. Let's go ahead and do that. And that is gone. So let's go ahead and close that. Now what I want to do is come back down here. And I want to go to settings. I'm sorry. And I want to go startup. And right down here, it'll say auto start. And if you look over here, there's latte dock in your auto start. Let's just come on over and hit minus, and it takes it off of that. So you don't have to worry about that anymore. And then you do have initial setup and initial user setup. Let's go ahead and get rid of those because those are probably still hovering in there and close out of that. So that gives us a new look there. Now let's, let's tweak on the bottom panel a little bit. Let's go ahead and right click, enter edit mode. I want to go with more options, and I want to go ahead and add this as a floating panel, and we will close and close out of that, and we now have a floating panel with rounded corners. But when you do open up an application and go full screen, those rounded corners go away and it squares up for you. So let's go ahead and minimize that and close it. Now another thing, if you notice when you open a window and you minimize, you get the magic lamp. I myself don't like the magic lamp and I don't really like the wobbly windows. If you want to leave them on, you can. There's no problem. But if you're a user out there that wants to turn those off, I'll show you how to do that. Just go to workspace behavior, click on that, go down here to desktop effects and what you want to do is go towards the bottom and you will see right here wobbly windows and magic lamp. I just turn those off. That's my personal preference. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that. And I'm going to go ahead and close that. Now when I open a window up, and it's right here, I don't have the wobbly windows anymore. And it just goes away. It doesn't do the magic lamp. Now another thing that people do complain about, let's go ahead and open up Firefox, is when you're using, let me go ahead and pin this to the task manager. When you are using Garuda, it comes with the purple theme on Firefox. People sometimes don't like that. They just want a normal theme. So generally what you can do is come over here, go to More Tools, go to Customize Toolbar. Now down here, you can add a title bar if you want. If you want that title bar up top, or you can shut it off. 
I generally shut it off and of course I add my home button up here and then down here manage themes click on manage themes and it'll say right here system theme dark theme Firefox light theme you just pick whatever theme you want I'm gonna go with dark theme I'm gonna enable that dark theme then I'm gonna close this close this go to home and as you can see the purple has disappeared and I have a normal looking search bar inside of Garuda on Firefox. There's eBuzz Central. So let's go ahead and close out of that. And of course, you also could go over and find you a nice, really neat, let's see here. Matter of fact, I got one in my folder. If you don't want to uh, use any of the Garuda wallpapers, because some people think they are a little darker than normal and not as light, you can always add an image and then go over to your pictures Go to your wallpapers and pick whatever you want. Uh, maybe you want something that's a retro look. Let's go ahead and open that up. And let's scroll to the top, which is generally where they put your newer wallpapers. I'll pick that one. Click Apply and click OK. So that's quick. Now, another thing you can do, let's go ahead and go over here. And let's go up here. And what you want to do is type in SDDM, which is your login screen. And you can choose your login screen. Now what I would do right here, I'm going to pick Sweet, but at the same time, I want Sweet's wallpaper to be the same as what I have on my home page. So I'll click right here where it says Change Background, and I'm going to go ahead and load an image from File, go back over to my pictures, down to Wallpapers, and go ahead and load that image, click Open, and then I'm going to click Apply, and then it'll ask for my password. You put your password in, and right now it doesn't give you a preview here. But this wallpaper will be the same as the one that you have already on your screen. So that way it kind of matches up coming from login to your desktop. So that right there, guys, is a quick way to take Garuda Linux, get rid of all the stuff that a lot of people think is ugly, switch it up real quick, and make things a lot easier. Now, if you wanted to change your buttons up here, you could do those too. But that really just gets you to whatever you want. That gets down to the what kind of decorations do you want on your windows? What kind of buttons do you want? You can change those with themes. And of course, if there's nothing here that you like, you can go get some new ones down here. And then, of course, you can move your title bar buttons. So, But that really is a quick way to take Garuda, tweak it a little bit, and not make it so what a lot of my viewers call ugly out of the box and still keep all the tools and all the power that it comes with when you download it. If you think I missed anything or you have any other ideas about videos that I should do, please drop that in the comments below. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like the channel. Likes keep me in YouTube's algorithm, which means if you found the information in this video helpful, somebody else out there might as well. And subscribe. Doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. You also can become a member right here on YouTube for just 99 cents a month. But that's not all. We are also on Utreon, which you can become a member on at $2.99 a month. Or Odyssey, which is $4 a month. You can also buy us a cup of coffee. Maybe zip on over to PayPal and throw us a donation. Or go over to Patreon and become a patron to the channel. All those links will be in the description below. As always, thank you for watching my video. And I will see you in the next video.